Surely many of you have eaten canned foods before, right? And how do you feel about their taste? Today, let's explore the canned pork production factory together. The main ingredient for canned pork, of course, is pigs. They are raised in closed farms and are fully fattened to meet processing standards so that each pig has good quality. It's important to ensure clean farm systems, adequate temperature and humidity for pig growth. Each pig consumes about 3880 kg of food from weaning to slaughter. Pigs are raised for an average of six months. Pigs are ready for slaughter when they reach a weight of 200 to 200 to 50 kg. Keeping pigs beyond this weight will reduce efficiency as it increases the fat ratio, decreasing quality. After reaching the standard, pigs are taken to meat processing plants. Here they undergo a humane process that does not cause pain. Small groups of pigs are placed in separate areas and anesthetized with KO2 gas. Electricity can also be used to make them unconscious and pain-free. In the next process, a conveyor belt transports the hanging pigs, immersing them in hot water. degree water will remove all hair and a stretching machine will remove most of the hair on the pig's body. The remaining hair will be burned at 800 degrees Celsius, killing all bacteria on the skin. Workers process the pig's internal organs, which can be processed into food for dogs or other livestock. In China and some Asian countries, pig organs can be made into delicious dishes. However, in Europe and America, they hardly eat animal offal. Some processing plants apply modern technology entirely to pig processing. The meat cutting section can use automated saws. After cleaning the pig, the meat is cut into two parts with a saw. Next, workers will cut the meat into different sizes according to consumer demand. Processed pork can also be made into ribs, dried meat, sausages, etc. 
Meat processing plants are also a source of supply for canned meat production plants. Canned pork is processed by sealing the product tightly in a box or container. and then treated with heat to kill off any harmful microorganisms in the canned meat products. Through thorough sterilization, all living microorganisms, including spores, are either destroyed or rendered inactive. Pre-clon meat packaging process involves three main activities, canning, filling, and heat processing. Most types of canned meat undergo commercial sterilization, meaning they are processed to kill microorganisms and their spores. This allows food preservation in cans at room temperature as long as the can is tightly sealed. Ever wondered if aluminum cans ensure food safety? While they are metals and can rust if left for too long, in fact, the inside of the can is coated with a specially formulated corrosion-resistant material suitable for canned meat and seafood products, ensuring health safety for consumers, which is the most crucial issue. This is low-acid food, which needs to be sterilized unless other methods are applied. Most countries have specific regulations regarding hygiene and food related to slaughter and meat processing. Although there's much debate over whether canned pork has as many nutrients as fresh meat, the reality is canned pork offers a lot of convenience for consumers who don't have much time for cooking or spending time with family. That's why adhering to regulations on hygiene and food safety is extremely important Thank you for watching all of our videos. If you enjoyed them, please subscribe and like so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thank you very much.